four in a row. Four in a row, folks. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. You know, I gotta be honest, folks, with uh, Strixhaven right around the corner. It's hard to come up with fresh inspiration for Kaldheim decks, so I'm kind of just remixing old stuff together and seeing what the result is, adding some Kaldheim stuff into older decks that I liked, retooling things, um... Because at this late in the season, pretty much everybody knows what works. The wild and out stuff is kind of already exhausted. So we're going to see if this works. Um, I know I've been riding black, red, and white pretty hard, but hey, those are my favorite colors. Um, so, you know, what are you going to do about it? You can watch it. No, that's, that's too mean. You don't have to watch it. Um, <laughs> feeling combative tonight, so that's why we're running Rakdos. Um, we're running Rakdos, a revisit of Speed of Dark, um, which was kind of an aggro, hasted, giant type, um, uh, giant deck. A little bit more speed on it. The Is It Giant decks are kind of slow and cumbersome, um, so, you know, we kind of want to add a little bit more aggression to it. And I like Croxa in there, too. I know that Is It Giants is kind of the standard, but, you know, we can't add but add a little bit of black into it. Um, so, uh, as we're talking here, let me ask you something, though, guys. Let me ask a question to you. <clears throat> Have you liked and subscribed? Because if you haven't, well, the like and subscribe will come after you. And he will devour you. Um, you gotta watch out for him. So just go ahead and tenderly hit that subscribe button. Gently hit that like button. See, I switched it up tonight, guys. Uh, join us on our stream, twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. And you can always join us on our Discord. Um... If you can't get enough villainy in your life. And announcing I do officially have an Aether Hub. Please go and join me and follow me on Aether Hub. Uh, all the decks that you see here and all the latest ones will be updated in easily downloadable formats. So please check that out. Now, <clears throat> uh, here we have an interesting spread, right? Frostbite and Shock spread out. Why? Why don't I go all Frostbite? It's more damage. Well, it's more damage later on in the game. Um... And Shock, well, one mana, six words, two damage, uh, goes right to face two. And a little bit of damage, if they're at one or two, um, it can really push them over the edge. That's why I like it. I like Feed the Swarm because getting rid of enchantments and creatures is very useful overall in this kind of uh, shell. Um, this right here is an underrated card. 2-2 two, two, trample into the end of turn. When it deals combat damage, exile that many cards from the top of your library. Um, so anything that gets over all the way through. Uh, so if you're doing ten da if you're doing six damage, they block two. You get four. You get four extra cards off the top that get through that you get to draw, um, and will automatically uh, watch call it, will automatically go on to you. Um, you're, it will be exiled, and then you can draw them. So that's how we kind of beat the auto shuffler in this one, is just a little bit extra card draw. I might add some more Fire Giants Fury in there. Rune of Speed, that's another little bonus there to get a little bit more card draw. Uh, plus one in haste. We want to move a little quicker here, guys. So in late in the game, and we can really start ramping to some aggressive stuff, um, that would be best. Um... So that's why we have Rune of Speed. A little card draw, a little bit extra damage. Uh, Arma Ghost, what's up, man? Um, thank you for joining. Uh, Cro Croxa, um, Titan's Death, uh, 
a Titan of Death's Hunger. I mean, if that ain't a cool name, if you're known as Titan of Death's Hunger, bro, you're doing good things, man. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, so you sacrifice unless it escaped. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> each opponent who d discards a card, then opponent who didn't discard a non-land card in this way loses three life. It will absolutely drain them. So it is fantastic to do that. Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, two damage, overpowered um, Eldrain card, as we know. Um, whenever it becomes a target of a spell, it deals two damage to that spell's controller. I like that because it punishes people for um, attacking it. Absolutely, it does. Flame Spill. Now, uh, this is a good one. However... I also do like, um, there's another red spell that I like called Slaying Fire. So Flame Spill does excessive damage. We're kind of going with the Trample theme here. Um, and this does excessive. Early in the game, if they have small creatures down, this little extra damage will be very, very, very good. Uh, it would be very useful. Slaying Fire also does mono red directly to the face. You need three red to get that extra four off, so it is worth it, but so we're going to go with Flame Skill. Shatter Skull Charger, another underrated giant that I don't see built a lot. A 4-3 Trample Haste that goes back to your hand. You know why I like this card? It is sorcery proof when it comes to board wipes. If they're running that board wipe tribal nonsense, they're running Doom Scar and Extinction Event and all the other crazy stuff that's wiping the board, guess what? Shatter Skull Charger hits the board and goes back. You never have to have it all the way on the board um, if you don't want to commit that extra two mana. So you keep hitting it, even with extra mana. Keep hitting it, play Fire Giant's Fury. Keep hitting it, play Fire Giant's Fury. Uh, you can really, really be aggressive with it, which I really like. And it's cheap, too. Rankle, what is he doing here? He is haste. Also, I noticed that giant decks are very weak to flyers. I wanted a flyer. I wanted to make people discard cards, especially with additional to Croxa. So he's kind of in Croxa support. Uh, he is hasted. And, of course, we have Vengeful Reaper for great uh, flying blockers right here. He is a, She is kind of our blocker. Uh, a Death Toucher that can come out and haste. These are kind of our emergency cards that we can kind of spread out and do it. So that's why we're doing Speed of Dark. We have the two hasted black cards here. Uh, we have Croxa in support positions, a little bit of extra discard. If you want to throw more extra discard in here, um, it will absolutely be very useful. Calamity Bear, Giant Source, deals double damage to that player. If you want to put more of those in there, sure thing, man. Uh, I might go with, um, I don't want to lean too heavily on it, but I might go with three I don't know about four. If you want to take out a tectonic and do an even draw here, that's fine too. Let's do it that way. Uh, an even split between the two of them. I really like tectonic giant. I think this elemental giant is underplayed. Uh, three damage to each opponent when he attacks or um, the target of a spell. And you can exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them until the end of turn you would play it. So again, we have the option to play cards from exile. Rune of Speed, card draw, Fire Giant's Feeder, playing cards from exile. We're going to beat that out of Shuffler one way or the other. And of course, my biggest contribution is Blood on the Snow. This is if you're getting bogged down. We have this big boy. Wipe it, okay? Wipe it, bring back Calamity Bearer. Wipe it, bring back Croxa. Um, absolutely do that. I would love to see uh, Blood on the Snow in the in the circumstance. If you get bogged down in the late game, uh, we don't have the option to play that one that does four damage to all non-giants. So Blood on the Snow is absolutely going to do it, especially if you're bringing back something with haste, um, like uh, like if you're bringing back uh, Shatter Skull, and then you can cast something else on it or something like that. You can go in for more damage. Um, so, Blood in the Snow is on there. Nine snow-covered uh, swamps, nine snow-covered mountains. Uh, we're going to add Stignox's Delight in here. Two Fable Passages, one Faceless Haven just for uh, a little bit of extra spice to make it extra nice, guys. 2.9. Not that ex I mean, it's solidly in mid-range territory, but it's not that expensive. 21 overall creatures. Uh, from all over the rainbow here. 21 giants, 6 instants, 8 sorceries, 2 enchantments, 23 mana total. Um, 
not too expensive, folks. 18, 22, tube light staff pathways. I don't want to go over with the snow too much. So you do want to have some snow ba basically in there. Uh, it is a little expensive. It's not too heavy on the black, but we'll leave it there. So here's your alternate view, guys. If you just can't understand the deck and the, and the other view. Ready? One, two, three. Pause it. Okay, there you go. Um, pretty smooth curve. What we're going to want to do, the strategy for this one, is to play removal early on to get rid of their small creatures. And then once we start landing our big creatures on the board, we can slowly, slowly start to work up to our big boys and start aggroing in uh, to the final countdown here. Uh, we really only need four to run it well. Five is really our emergency button. That's our emergency eject button right there. So... We'll go with the solid black sleeves right now. Let's get into it. We won a few games before. Let's see if we can win a few games now. All right, guys. I hope the sound quality and the video quality has improved. I'm trying. Um, I don't have the best computer. Um, and I'm, I'm trying real hard to, to make it with my little guy here. Uh, he's doing his best. I actually like this hand. Shadow Spear might not be a bad idea for this deck. For a little extra life gain and a little extra trample. And I think I have too much black. I think I have to add red. So he's Orzov. There's his Luminarch. All right, that's why we have this here. We got to slow him down. Satanic kitten, love it. All right, beautiful. Okay, um, Calamity Bearer. With Shatter Skull going in next turn is going to be a crazy amount of damage. Unless he plays removal. Which is a very real possibility. Let's see. Oof. No, that was that's not what you want, bro. Um, because this is still going to do a ton of damage. Go right back to my hand. So now you can't affect it. Castle Locked Wayne. Another dead weight. Spent a lot of cash to get rid of that. We're going to sustenance on a land. That ain't going to be it. Oh no. You're a reformed Simic player. Listen, man, I'm glad you saw the light. I'm glad you have seen the light and the way. I'm glad you have come before us for the redemption. Do you know that through the blood of the wicked, we shall be redeemed? Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I don't know if you know that. This is it for him. He's gotta he's gotta play removal right now, or otherwise he's done. Be baptized in the holy black waters and accept Vito as your prophet. And you shall be cleansed of your Simic sins. Negative 6 to 20. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. 
That was flawless, yes. Uh, that was a flawless, flawless victory, fatality. The idea behind this dex is burn everything before they can even get anything on the board. That's the idea. Um, just burn, 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 burn. That I, I don't really like this. Too expensive. Well. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with it. I think I can draw into something. Um, actually, I think the new Mortal Kombat movie is going to be cool. I like the old Mortal Kombat movie because I was like 12 when it came out. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so, you know, maybe I'm not the best judge. Okay, it looks like we got some snow stuff here, guys. Uh, let's burn up his ramp. Another skull prophet. The first Mortal Kombat movie was not bad. The second one was awful. Um, <clears throat> but it still had its charm, let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks good. It looks gritty. It looks dark. It looks bloody. Um, oh, yeah. You know, I was real excited for Dune. Um, and then I found out that it's a two-parter, and then I was less excited. So, you know. Because knowing Darren Aronofsky or, or uh, Dennis, Dennis Villeneuve, he's going to take three more years to make the second part. Because the first, because the Dune, it's, it, oh yeah, it's absolutely going to be more faithful to the book. It's just going to be two hours of the first 150 pages, though. That's the problem. Pull a Kronos. <clears throat> All right. Good. I hope it's not too long. I gotta see that Kong movie, man. I gotta see. I love Godzilla and Kong, so I'm looking forward to to seeing that one. I've heard it's good. I have I I'm looking forward to trying to get back to go to the movies again, man. At some point. This is why we keep the spell shock, guys. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to shock him to death. If he can only play one creature next turn, 
Um, I have a feeling I'm going to be able to electrocute him. The distinct feeling. The Godzilla vs. Kong, I think he saw in theaters. So what about the Magic the Gathering TV show that they're going to make, that we're going to make with Netflix? What about that, guys, huh? Think they'll give me a part in that? Maybe I can do the narration, the voiceover. The Gatewatch entered. Yeah, they were they were planning on um Oh I'd love oh my god, if they if they had a Vito character and let me voice I could die happy. Uh if they let me voice Vito. Oh my goodness. And he's out of there, guys. That was a little bit of salt rope for you. Yeah, it was quietly announced. It's still in kind of early production. Um I don't think that um Hey, let's hope I get big enough before then and I can do a voice. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be either the Gatewatch or something. I, I don't remember exactly. Um, manage to make the show. Nice one, Tanuki. Tanuki coming in with the with the dad pun. Love it. I don't, you know what, I'll keep it, why not? Magic the Gathering TV series is a planned animation series. Oh yeah, I could definitely get a part on this. Um, I could definitely do voiceover work for this. Um, to release in 2020, a network is created by Wizards of the Host and Hasbro's AllSpark Animation Division. Um, the 2021 Joel and Anthony Russo of Avengers fame will executive produce the series. Will feature all new creative talent from Batman the Animated Series, Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Um, uh, people, it's not people from Earth moving to the show are going to be true to the pre existing spirit, but the TV series is going to have its own continuity space similar to all franchises have done with a new medium. The TV show will not be canon. In April 2020, it was reported that Netflix was working on a, on a live-action project besides the animated series. The two projects um, won't be related. Angelina Jolie was reportedly considered to play Leon Liliana Vess. Yikes. That's some good casting right there. If you know what I mean. Um, and you do. You do know what I mean. Will not be canon. Yeah, um, that's that's a tough one. Um, that's a tough one to figure out um, because uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say that's a good thing or a bad thing because it can kind of do its own thing at that point. See some more of those counter spells, man. Oof! There we go. I gotta put in my, I gotta put in my uh, resume, man. I gotta get my my voice acting resume ready to go, bro. Um, if they have a vampire, it's gotta be me. Here we go. I 
honestly, they could set it in. They could have Dominaria, Innistrad, all that stuff. Um, all that stuff still there. They could just be on a different plane. So you know, there's different ways of doing it that won't be that bad. Um. All right, let's see if we can pull this off. Blood Sky Massacre. I can smell the sweetness of your blood from here, you little whelp. If only you understood the powers of the ruinous darkness that surround you. That's my addition right there. There you go. You happy? Huh? You guys happy now? This dude's throwing stuff at me, bro. I don't know how much is if it's working, but he's throwing stuff at me. Yikes. Baka. You're making me blush over here. He's going to do it directly to me. Okay. Edgewall Innkeeper. No, this ain't going to be it, homie. I'll take the damage from that. Oh, that's a double triple right there, folks. Uh, let's do this. Boof, 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 boof. If Snow heard that, what makes you think she has it? Counterspell, nice. Um, no attacks. Uh, it's so destroyed. Yes, it is. Did you watch my uh, Mythic Black Devotion where I did that? I went Mythic, defeating a um, Demir Mill, uh, Demir Rogue Mill with my Mono Black uh, Veto deck. Oh, Mono Black Life Drain deck. Veto's Daughter style deck. Uh, Yeah, Mythic Black Devotion, man. That's what I'm about. I'm about to win. If he can counterspell this, he'll be okay. Um... You should get a free gold wild card every time you beat him. <laughs> a mill deck. They'd be, bro, they'd be beating uh uh they'd be they'd be playing a paying a lot of uh gold wild cards out. Um All right. Here we go, folks. I 
think we're going to get salt roped here. This is three in a row. So he's going to return Croxa. That's not going to really matter too much. Yeah, here comes the salt. Especially the fact that he has no cards in his hand. Yeah, he, he has no cards in it. Why didn't he hold on to one of these? I He just kicked a Croxa back to my hand. What, 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 what sense did that make? He kicked a Croxa back to my hand. He knows if he has no cards, he has to lose three life. Why won't you hold on to a card? The, the other fairy can't block. Um, but at the very least you could get a blocker out. I don't know. That wasn't very, um, a dark angel gets its wings. Becomes baptized in the flames and blood of a thousand heretics and cowards who hide behind the filthy mill magic of the weaklings. Hey, all right, Yusuf, we're going to sign off here in a minute, too, so. I'm a, I don't know if I've told you, I'm an edgelord in recovery, man. I, You know, I used to wear all black and... Uh, listen to metal and wear a chain wallet you know so it's it leaks out sometimes it, it leaks out <clears throat> all right You still do all those things? Well, good for you, man. That's resilience right there. I still wear mostly dark colors, but I don't like to wear all black. Um, just because it's too hot, man. Wallet chain started as so it wouldn't f you wouldn't lose your wallet while riding on a motorcycle. Then it just became a cool thing. I think this guy's cooked. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but the fact that he's at two mana, two life, and hasn't played any cards yet is usually a bad sign. Oh, look at that typhoid rats. That's gonna be great. Amistrum yeah, Predator. That'll be even better. Um, I'm gonna do this. Activate ability. Yeah, smiley chain. Wrap that around your fist and hit someone with it. Not that I'm advocating violence, only for defensive purposes, etc. and so forth. Um, Ginger Blasty. Ginger Blasty. 
All I need to do is attack with tectonic giants and I win. Oh, okay. He's doing one of these things. Okay. Okay. Porky parrot thing. Unfortunately, I think when it becomes the target of a spell or ability... Oh, not ability, but spell. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. You don't need that anymore. Porky parrots for suckers. You're dead anyways, guy. Just just let it go. Do the Elsa thing. Four in a row. Four in a row, folks. Burn them up, shut them down. Hope you're getting your money's worth tonight, guys. Gross Simic card it just gave me. Let's use that hatred of Simic that I feel all of a sudden to uh, keep pushing. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. Because you're mine. I walk the line. Let's go face there because we have two other removals for creatures in our hand. And we want to just get the most utility out of Bone Crusher. him out. Orzhov life gain is not going to do well against us. This is the glove game here. Let's see if we can get to six or two. Let's see if we can get to six pack. I'm thinking about targeting it, but it's going to... Oh. He didn't get the memo, bro. He did not get the memo. Vito works for me. He don't work for nobody else. Prophet of true villainy. Birth of Melitus, that's that's the wrong play, homeboy. Um I love some DK. Kill the poor. MTV get off the air. That's the glove guy. Bro, that was the 90s for me, man. Playing Magic and listening to Dead Kennedys and Social Distortion and... 
skateboarding and um, skateboarding at the park and the glove. Do we have it in us to get the six win? See, I told you when I'm distracted and relaxed, I play good. You got me hella distracted tonight. So that's the glove right there. Um, let's see if we can clinch this the sixer. I I can deal with this. If we draw some mana, we'll be all right. Play Stignox's delight. Ooh, it's against these boys, huh? We're going to eat that guy. It's against Lurus Rogues, ladies and gentlemen. Foolish to think that I would get mana, yes. It's against these guys. Um... Distract me with more good music. Ah, very nice. Might have a... Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have enough in my graveyard for Drown on the Lock to work for that one. And if he plays removal on it, he's going to take two damage. I'm going to have to hit it with... Ruin a speed or fire giant's fury. Yeah, he's gonna hit it. Eliminate. Um, if we don't draw a creature, um, let's let's sing uh, something in the way by. Um, Nirvana. Have I ever heard of Queens in the Stone Age? I've seen them in concert, bro. What are you talking about? Been fans of them since way back. Like clockwork. The day I tried to live. Red mana, red mana, red mana, red mana. Nope. Soaring Thought Thief. I'm going to burn him up next turn. Luris to his hand. We're going to save a special treat for Luris. There goes my mana. Ooh, in denial. With a smooth regulator smoking cigarro, cigarro, cigarro. Ooh, in denial. With a smooth regulator smoking cigarro, cigarro. Time has sprung a leak. Them crooked vultures, very good. Something in the way. Let's 
see if he's got the counter spell ready to go. Yep. He's only got a few of those. I need another red man and I'll be okay. He shouldn't have tapped himself out. He's no he's playing burn and he tapped himself out. That's the only Luris he has, so no more recursion for him. Two rune crabs, look at that. We're still in pretty good shape. I haven't milled Croxa yet, which will be really nice to be able to do that because I have plenty of fuel for Croxa. Um, and he is definitely running out of ammo right now. He's got a few more counter spells left, but um, he's got to hold on to him. Yeah, he's got a few left. But I still have my Croxes left. There's one of them. There's the other one. There's the third one. He already played one Agadems. Hard cast it. into the story. Let's see if he's got another counter spell. He might. He might have another drown in the lock. Probably does. Third drawn of the lock. Nope, he doesn't. What has he played so far? He's been through two fabled passages already. Eliminate. There it goes. He's still got it triggered. but with uh, two of them out. So there's the third Fable Passage. Um, we're almost milled out now. That's going to be six. We're going to have four left. Um, if he's got... I mean, he's just been able to counterspell everything. Every, every time that I play, he's... Um, We're going to have four left. We're going to have to play Rankle. Um, we're going to... If he can... If he can... No, it doesn't matter. He, he, if, he's, if he's got a whatchamacallit, he, he's got it. He's pretty much got it at this point. Yeah, I mean, look how much burn I played on him. And he just counterspelled. He had an Eliminate. Um, he had an Eliminate. He had a... Uh, two drown in the locks, two eliminates, and one heartless act. Um, so I mean, what can I do at that point? What can I do at that point, man? He's gonna agadim. There it is. 
There's the last crab. I mean, lures rogues, man. I didn't get the red mana in time, unfortunately. I, uh, I was just rigged. Um, Calamity Bearer. Uh, we'll hit him with this one more time. Say farewell. Um, good riddance, man. This is a, there's a reason this is like the number two or number three death, deck in Mythic. I mean, it's uh, it's a sad state of affairs. But this is an amazingly powerful deck. I don't know what that Mythos was doing in there. He didn't have any white mana. Uh, well, that's, that's the glove, but not the six. Unfortunately. All right, guys. Um, very fun night tonight. Did really well. A lot better than expected. Um, five in a row. Solid glove game. Um, and, uh, of course, um, I think the word of tonight will be... What will it be, guys? It'll be... Titan. Um... Really fun deck. I like the Speed of Dark. I think it's a fun one. I think I really like it. I'm going to leave it there, folks. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.